Good afternoon, people. This is Teacher Roberto, and on our first week of class, I'll be covering greetings. Greetings uh, is our first topic, and in this unit, you learn about you know the way people greet and which greetings um, they use to 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 talk to another person, right? So a greeting. Here, I'm giving you some examples of greetings. Examples of greetings can be formal expressions, kisses, handshakes, hugs, or various gestures. Um, uh, once again, a greeting is determined by social etiquette, as well as by the relationship of people. This is something um, um, important to consider. The objectives. Um, I'm going to divide this video into two parts. The first part is just um, on the way um, people apply different greetings in different situations. And the second is about the verb be in simple present and how to use it correctly. This is our first intro activity or introduction activity. Um, I want to learn how much you know about greetings. In the first, in this first activity, I want you to 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 go to Edmodo and post post five greetings that you use when you greet someone you know. This is the first activity, something simple. Just five greetings that you use um, when, you, when you greet or see someone you know. This is our first activity. Topic explanation. There are many ways to greet someone. Here, I'm going to teach you um, the basic or the most common ways, um, either formal and informal, to greet someone. Here, I'm giving you an example. First, hi, my name is Juan. You introduce yourself first. It's nice to meet you. And just a pronunciation um, a tip. When you is after the T, this is pronounced, you is pronounced ch, meet ch. It's nice to meet you. And a way to respond to this is, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jack. The greetings can change depending on the time of the day. If it's 5 o'clock, from 5 o'clock to 12 p.m., we generally use good morning. From 12 to 6 p.m., we generally use good afternoon. Good afternoon. And after 6 p.m. or when the sun goes down, we use good evening. Good night. Good night is not a salutation, it's not a greeting. Um, it is used to say goodbye. Let's say that you visited your, your grandmother and you just are um are, are about to leave your grandmother's house then you say good night because you are leaving that place that's normally when you say bye good night right it's the same stuff good night when you're saying when you're leaving a place hopefully this is clear and if you have a question about this please please let me know there are some basic greetings and responses here are some greetings and here are some responses that you can use to 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 answer good morning good afternoon good evening how nice to see you hello how are you how do you do how you're going these three are similar if I ask you how do you do you can say uh, I'm fine not bad or if I ask you how are you you can say fine thanks pretty cool. These three have 
the same connotation or the same sort of meaning. Vocabulary. The vocabulary, this is also part of the vocabulary, so I want you to review this um, whenever you have time or when you're um, um, on your on, on your English class uh, on Edmodo. And the vocabulary, I want you to look for the meaning of these phrases. These four phrases, please go grab a dictionary or your phone and then find the meaning of this one if you don't know it. If you know it, just um, uh, post the meaning of them on Edmodo. Reading comprehension. Read and practice this dialogue. Since uh, we are teaching online, we do not have that much time for practicing this dialogue. But I want you to read this and read this short dialogue and on the reading comprehension activity one, choose the correct answer. Here are some of the questions from or that I extracted from the dialogue and then you're gonna circle the correct answer. Please pay attention to this reading because I'm going to include this one on the first or in the first quiz. Activity 2. Look at the pictures and complete the bubble. You're going to look at here are the greetings. This is the greeting box. And over here you'll see the picture and then you're going to label each picture with its corresponding greeting. It's pretty easy. You just look at the picture and then pick a greeting or select a greeting that best goes with this or with these pictures. Well, this is the video that I prepared for this first part of greetings. If you have any question about this section or about this part on greetings please let me know because the second video I'm gonna be um, recording is about the simple uh, the simple present of the verb be I'm gonna dedicate a whole video because I know that um, this is a you know a little bit more um, complex for some of you so I'm gonna um, use the easy way or the easy way to um, explain this topic um, if as once again if you have any question please let me know let me know about this and this is basically the 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 end of